It's a beautiful morning. Look at this guy. Zeus, what are you doing? What's happening? What is it? <laughs> You're too close. What? What have I got? What is it, Zeus? Tell me now. <laughs> what do you want? I don't have anything in here. There's nothing in this pocket. See? Nothing there. What about this pocket? What's that? There you go, buddy. All right. <laughs> We've probably lost the dog for the next two minutes. So, another beautiful day. We've got horses all over the place here. Um, this pile's getting a little smaller, as I mentioned. Fixed up Roni's paddock. I've got to do more. The forest needs a little bit. Ruse is fine. Nanners was done recently. In case you're new here, there are nine horses. And some of them are a total pain in the butt when it comes to maintaining their paddock. And some are just fantastic. Roni's a fantastic horse for that matter. And now he's in the toughest paddock I've got because I've just finished rebuilding it. Anyhow, let's see. So that's Roni. He's a quarter horse. That's Nanner, or Ohana is her real name. She's a Percheron. We don't know what Rue is, but he's just called Mr. Gorgeous for short. Hi, buddy. You're not out of food just yet. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? So stop tickling my nose. It's not nice. Very quiet this morning, except for the birds. They're a little noisy. So as you can see, the willow tree is getting a little greener. In the right light, what's that? That's an interesting noise. I never heard a noise like that out of a bird. Can't even see them anymore. But they're somewhere. Luke's doing okay. This is Luke. He's an appendix or so I'm told. So, gorgeous day, morning. <laughs> this is Peggy and Gracie. Peggy's the Palomino, Gracie's the Arabian. Both uh, patiently waiting for me. You guys are piglets. I gave you tons of food. I have proof of it. I put it in a video. Yeah. Peggy, did you eat all the food and poor Gracie didn't eat much? Gracie, you got to just tell her what for, like you always do. Yeah, right Peggy? Let's have it in. Peggy, everybody says you're gorgeous. Is it true? You can't fog up the lens, you know. It won't do. Well, thanks for giving it a good sniff though. Gracie does it all the time and then she smashes it with her nose. Bye Pig Pig. No tickling the nose. So, got to top everybody up. Uh, yesterday was a great day. Again, thanks for everybody coming into the live stream. It was another fantastic session. Wow. The sun is so nice. It's just a gorgeous morning. Got birds flitting everywhere. There's another one. There's a robin. Oh, there it goes. Got robins everywhere. Very, very common bird here. In British Columbia um, <clears throat> and uh, amongst many others obviously everybody's doing fine back here hello Ruli popping her head up to, from eating you look good food wise overall wise food wise and then there's these two who again are still sharing quite nicely I mean not bad I think Skip could have his butt a little bit more to the right. It always kind of bugs me when horses do that. They're eating from one and they sort of protect. So he's eating this one, but he's sort of half protecting this one. You know, Selena has to kind of... Whoa! What's going on, Zeus? You made a fast entrance, buddy. 
What are you doing? Did you finish your dentist sticks? What, what was that? Don't, that's not very clean. All right, let's get moving on with the day. More birds, another bird. Woodpeckers around. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna get on with the day. Today should be kind of interesting. I've got all kinds of little things planned. Hopefully I'll uh, have the camera with me, or a camera, maybe not this camera, because it's kind of heavy. Um, I actually want to do, uh, I was asked by a few people to do a tech review on a few of the ticky items that I have. I'm kind of ticky, I've, hey, I'm taking the low road. Zeus is taking the high road, because he's a good dog. So as you can see with this camera, I can walk along, I can, in fact, I can run along. <laughs> and, uh, coming. And it doesn't get shaky. Um, I can zoom, I can move around, in and out. The focal length, it doesn't just stay at one focal length, meaning that I can focus on different things. So I will. I'll do a tech review pretty soon. Outside of that, let's get on with the day. I'm going to finish my tea. And then, uh, grocery shopping today. And what else? Nothing outside. Actually, that's about it. And it's on the horsey stuff. So, that's what we're doing. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Huh? Yeah. All right, everybody, I thought I would do a quick review of microphones, external microphones for your camera. The sun is just about to go down. You can see the view from here inside of the solarium. And um, I really wanted to do this because I get the question a lot about what kind of equipment I use to do the work that I'm doing. And uh, primarily, not, not necessarily the equipment that I'm using to shoot with, uh, which I'll explain in another video, but the audio equipment, because there's a lot of times that I'll be doing training work in the arena, um, I'm away from the camera for whatever reason, and you can still hear me very clearly. So, um, what I'm going to show you works with both your phone or uh, any camera that has an input. When I say an input, it literally is usually just the little thing here at the bottom of your phone for your headphones, but it can also take a microphone input. So we'll talk about phones specifically in a second. Let's talk about the microphones. So there are two different options for capturing audio if you want to do a pre-recorded event, um, video, uh, vlog, whatever it is. Uh, lesson or just send some stuff to your friends and there's two ways of doing it there's the there's one way where you record the audio separately from the video or you record the video and the audio together if you record the video and the audio separately then you then have to put it together in some kind of editing program a lot of people have a hard time with that naturally so it takes a little bit of expertise in that technical area to do so but I will present that just in case there are people out there that do that. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a couple of external recorders. This one is called the Zoom H1, and this is the Zoom H4n. Now both of these are a little bit older. There are newer versions, but these work just fine for capturing your audio uh, on you separately. So uh, this one's a little bit bigger and uh, you, you can kind of put it in your pocket. And the way that you get your voice heard is with a little microphone, which I have here. So it's just a little lapel microphone and uh, essentially just tucks in kind of like that. And then you would tuck the, the wire underneath your shirt. Now this lapel microphone can be used for a lot of different things. So we're gonna keep this here for now. And it plugs into uh, any uh, microphone input, which is generally 
going to just have what looks like a headphone jack. So, uh, pretty, pretty basic stuff there. Uh, and you can use this for all kinds of uh, controllers, microphone or audio recorders. So these little audio recorders are pretty cool because I used to do this. I used to carry this on me. Actually, I used to carry this on me and I would put it in a pocket somewhere, but I would have um, on the side here, it shows, where is it? I think it's at the bottom and then I used, yeah, cause it's at the bottom. So I had an, and I, I had an adapter that I used to click into the, the input down here because these inputs are actually meant for large microphones like boom mics and whatnot. And they have a huge connector that looks like that. And that goes in like so. So you don't want that. You don't want to be carrying around a boom mic uh, unless you're getting into some kind of production, uh, which you're not. You want to be able to carry around something smaller. Now this is a bit bigger. It is high quality. It's, it's very good. Uh, there is a newer one, but essentially you just put that in there. That goes in your jacket pocket or something like that. And your lapel mic goes on your jacket or shirt. Record it onto here, record your video, take it to your computer, put them together. This was my next level and it was a much smaller one. I found it very handy. I could put it in even, uh, it was even smaller uh, so it could go into a smaller pocket. And again, the microphone just clicks in like so. So those are your options right off the bat for recording audio separately. And there are benefits to doing that because you can, um, you'll already have the audio broken up to use somewhere else in a podcast or something if you wanted to. It's quite handy. And there is a line out so you can put that into a mixer. Anyways, that, we're getting into more detailed stuff and we'll get into that. So that's for the type of audio recorders that you can use to um, record audio separately. Now, as for remote microphones, because there's going to be times when you're doing um, live streams maybe, uh, or you want to just record everything all in one place, you're going to need a remote or a, um, well, yeah, remote transmitter and receiver microphone set. So this is, I'm going to start with this one. This one's the Sennheiser uh, EW100 G3. They've got, there's a few different kinds out, but this one's quite popular. Um, it's got an antenna here. It takes a couple of batteries uh, on and off. It's quite simple. You just turn it on for the most part and it goes. And then this here is the receiver. This is the receiver side. Uh, and this is what would plug into your camera. So you would plug the line out of here directly into your camera and uh, it receives. You turn it on, it just starts receiving. Everything just, these two guys just work in unison together. No problem whatsoever. No problem. Now, this is fine. I've used this in the past, but they're a little bit heavy and they're a little bit big. And I found that the um, audio wasn't as reliable as I needed it to be. There would be some frequency sounds that would kind of come in. So this does work well. I think it works better indoors than outdoors personally, uh, but I did use it for a little while and it worked out pretty good outside of a few glitches here and there. Uh, it also didn't, I didn't feel like it gave great range. Um, I think once I got to about 150 feet or so, it tended to not uh, transmit or receive well is probably a better way to put it. So this is the first remote. These are very, very common. You'll see them all over the place. There are plenty of people that are using them. And the receiver can obviously be hooked up to a PA system. I mean, all of them can be hooked up to a PA system kind of thing. So you put it out over loudspeakers. So that's remote microphone number one. The evolution of that happened uh, reasonably recently by a company called Rode, which makes also this boom mic and the microphone that's on my camera, which I will show you guys in another video about camera tech. So these little guys, this is the Rode uh, Mic Go, I think it's called, Remote Go or something. I'll put, the, uh, I'll put the name over here with the price. And uh, these are actually made in Australia. I think Rhodes is an Australian company. And these are fantastic. The, the big changes and the bonuses that I, I feel that they have is that um, they're rechargeable. There's no batteries. They're incredibly tiny and small. And um, they have fantastic, just great performance. 
So one is a transmitter and one is a receiver. The receiver has obviously is going to have a wire that's going to come out of it and this will go to your camera. It's got a nice little display on the front, which you might not be able to see uh, unless I zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. And you can see here, it's got a little display that lights up and tells you the battery and uh, uh, if it's receiving any sound. Now the, res the, the transmitting unit is tiny. Whoa, come on camera and it has a line in. So again, if you wanted to, even though, actually I should point out, this has a microphone in it. This little bit right on the end here is a microphone. So it's already a built-in microphone. It's wireless. You charge it with USB-C. But if you want to, if you want to put this somewhere else, you can still use your lapel mic. No problem. That's very, very handy. So. All right, so this thing is light, um, rechargeable. It means you don't need batteries and it can fit in quite small places. Obviously the receiver is good. Now for transmitting distance and quality, I've found it just amazing. I think uh, a couple of my tests have come out at over 200 feet, as long as they are kind of facing each other. If you have it on your body and you turn away from this, then it, the range goes down significantly, about half. Um, but if you're facing the receiver, you get yeah, over 200 feet, which is really, really good out of such a small little object. So these are great. And what makes these so handy is their size, because if you're going to vlog or you're going to use your phone to do live streams or something like that, then essentially you just, it's got a little clip on the back and you can clip it onto your case of your, your phone or something like that. And it becomes the receiver of the transmitter. But there's one little thing to keep in mind. The phone has, uh, as long as it's not an iPhone, um, you can get different adapters for the iPhone, but if for an Android phone, which has a normal head, headphone jack still, um, you have to get a an adapter that adapts um, the, microphone wire, the wire that's going to go from your phone to the transmitter. And I'll put links down below of what I think are good. They're not affiliate links. They're just links to go get it. And so essentially you got to hook up a wire to this because not to this, to the receiver, because the receiver has got to plug into your phone or camera, whatever your camera is. But this can't directly go into the phone. So it's a quick tip because it's only got two it's only got, yeah, there, you guys can see that. It only has two um, rings here, two sections, and that will happily go into a microphone um, uh, receiver, but the phone doesn't have a microphone receiver. It has a head headphone and microphone receiver, which means you need an adapter that has three sections, one for the microphone, one for the headphone, uh, left and right, if I remember correctly. So this a little adapter, then you plug in your wire to the microphone side. There's a little microphone side on there. And the other one has a headphone side. So if you want to monitor your audio, you can do so. And then this plugs into the phone, like so. So there you go. That's sort of a how to um, get a remote microphone to, or yeah, a remote microphone to your phone for live streaming or vlogging when you are going to be away from the camera and you don't want to have to yell at it to be heard. Or you don't want to pick up a whole bunch of ambient sounds like cars and motorcycles and trucks or people. And instead you would just use a nice little microphone like this or a lapel mic, which is going to be even more concentrated or directed directly to where you want to pick up uh, sound from and uh, can create very high quality audio. So 
hopefully that's helped. If you have any questions, stick them down below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next uh, tech review and horsey check video. So I'll see you then.